No, what inspired this, I was actually walking in downtown Beverly Hills, feeling all fancy schmancy, until I looked into a bakery and these, they had these on the wall. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're not gonna sell them to me because they don't make these things, they make bakeries, yeah. exactly. bakery foods. Um, so I thought, how can I do this? And I really wanted to do it with real mirror. And I got stumped. Really? First, I got really scared. There are mirror cutters that you can get, yeah. but it's scary. And yeah. I mean, this is something I it's do every heavy. day. So for folks at home who don't do this a lot, yeah. sure. it would really scare them. However, I found a secret ingredient. Mm. This is it. This is contact paper. Genius. That mimics mirror. Isn't this amazing? It's only about $10 and wow. it's a lot. I mean, we've made everything you see here and I could probably make two or three more of these. Oh, that's but amazing. But this, seriously, life changer. Once right. I found this and so cheap and so light. Let's that's see true. what you did earlier today. Got to started get to this earlier point. this morning. Yes. Okay. So this is craft wood that I'm using. Um, a sharpie there, and the other was cardstock, and I cut out one petal. I want to make sure all my petals matched. But again, it's a flower, so if you're off a little, it's okay. Yes, I sanded down the edges. Now these are little bamboo sticks. They're an eighth inch uh, thick and they're really, really bendable and they're really maneuverable. So I literally cut them with a pair of scissors or um, gardening shears. Now this is the mirror stuff. It's self-adhesive and you pull it off and it looks like it's gonna be blue, right. but wait, oh, and now I'm getting all the bubbles out because it's kind of like doing wallpaper. Oh my god. That goodness. is just a protective film. That's all that is. So now you've got this mirror surface. So on top of that, I relayed it on another piece of this is quarter inch now, uh, plywood, to cut out the, the kind of outline of our flowers. Use just regular acrylic paint and my favorite tool right there, the glue gun, <laughs> and put it on top, just glued it down. Now see, I'm using garden shears here. Um, I later used scissors and wire cutters. Everything worked for this. And then I made my little lattice, the inside of my daisy, Beautiful. the inside of the flower. And you can do whatever uh, style so you would like. There's so many endless possibilities Yes. I love this. So once I had, and you can see, oh, that is one that's completely done. Once I had all of these together, I used a, a three quarter inch round. This is um, 10 inches wide. And I'll show you guys on the back here. Oh. Um, and this is all ready to hang, but you can see, I mean, if you look Just in glued. there. Just glued. It's glued on. on. Yes. That's it. So turn back and over. By the way, I prefer this over the real mirror page because if this were to fall off the wall, if you know what I mean? Right. Now if this falls off the wall, all you have to worry about is, you know, it's nothing. 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 <laughs> okay, so this is that same material and I'm going to make uh, a little middle section. And this makes sure that no matter where they kind of matched, if your flowers were off just a teensy bit, that's okay. So you pull off the back. It is self-adhesive. So you're just going to put it over the front there. Kind of gives it the middle of and the then flower. you middle of the flower, and then you pull off. Yep, thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. I was wondering. I thought that was just a different color. I didn't realize that was a protective coating. I thought about leaving it blue. I really did. I, I yeah. took a poll, and people voted uh, to do it uh, mirror. So now these lights, these are little puck lights. They're dimmable, so this would be such a great night light. And it comes with. It's also self adhesive. So I put that Welcome. there. Uh, you can push it on, oh or check this out. I'm just going to hang this here on the. Well, I'm just going to set this one, and then oh, I have so cute. a little remote control. So you what? can do this for your kids. Turn on the light. You can dim it half down. You can go all the way down, so it's just a tiny little night light. If you go back to 100 percent, and then turn it off. That is great there you for go. kids' room. I want to put that in Alexandra's room. Well, you can have them because um, oh. I'm not keeping them for the cats. <laughs> uh, <laughs>